Hey guys, it's already one hundred. Then almost fully to make it. Welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Battle. In the last episode, we uh, started off with Amy's story here. Didn't really get a whole lot into it here. We kind of beat the crap out of some robots and did just some exercise. We also met Queen, the uh, best fighter in history. And uh, yeah, heh, heh, not bad. Exercise really does help you lose weight. I can feel the fat burn. I'm gonna be so fit after this. this is over. Amy, you're like 12. I don't think you really need to worry about exercise at this point. Van, you also look like thin enough here. You're not. You're not. Isn't, you're not like Big the Cat. You don't exact. You're not Big the Cat. You don't really like need to lose weight at all. I mean, you look perfectly fine right now. I'm not hitting on Amy at all. I'm just, you know. I'm just, She's, I mean, look at I mean, come on, look at her. She's not fat at all. Yeah, I know. Okay, so we're gonna take it up a notch this time. The one who gets 10 kills for 10? Oh, yeah, and by the way, this is Amy's room. If you weren't here in the last episode, this is Amy's room. The, uh, oh, yeah, and also, apparently, Amy has the power to manipulate wind and create a uh, pink tornado. Oh, jeez! Well, to be honest with you, that was actually a really dumb move on my part. Ow! Ow! Okay, see, how the hell do you have... Like, how do you bounce off the walls like that? I think you, I know you have to do... You have to, like, push a certain button at the right time here, but the AI always seems to know how to do it, but I can I can never do that. There we go. Alright. Here we go. Let's call it comeback. Crap. Excuse me. I have an orange cup right here beside me, so... I'm probably gonna be burping quite a bit in this session. And you know what, actually, while we're at this Tekken battle, I should probably talk about something, actually, which I've been meaning to talk about, about for a while here, but it just kind of slipped my mind before. Uh, so... Oh, yeah, I got something to talk about, by the way. Can you believe that? Alright, so... Recently, in case you're not paying attention to current video game news, Nintendo has recently signed a deal with... Oh, oh I'm still alive! No, I'm not. Nintendo has recently signed a deal with, Univer with uh, Universal to create a Nintendo theme attraction at Universal Studios. And I kind of want to just like take a minute here or two to talk about my opinions about this here. To be honest, I'm freaking excited. I mean, apparently a lot of people have really wanted to see a Nintendo theme park. And you know, it's never really been something that's on my mind, but now that it's actually going to be something, now that it's actually going to be like a reality, I'm freaking excited as hell for it. Like, seriously, like, I'm getting to the point right here where I'm actually gonna make a bucket list. I don't, I'm like, I'm gonna make a full out of bucket list, and the only thing on there is gonna be, visit that Nintendo theme park. I will not be satisfied in life until I visit that Nintendo theme park in, like, five years when I'm, like, 22. I'll be a 22-year-old all by myself going to the Nintendo theme park, but you know what? I will be happy doing that. Did I? Yeah, you did. Yeah, and honestly... Obviously, some of the main things I'm really excited for here, some of the ideas I think might actually show up here is... Obviously, they're gonna have, like, the main Nintendo attractions, like Mario, Zelda, and Pokemon. I'm expecting there to be, like, a Mario Kart track, like, uh, like a go-kart track or something here that... Frickin' hell. Like, I know at, um, Disney World Orlando, at, uh, Magic Kingdom, they have this, like, kind of kart track. They have, like, this kind of go-kart track here, but it's kind of on, like, a predetermined pathway, so it kind of sucks. But imagine, like, something like that! Except you have, like, like free range of the carts, and they're, like, actual Mario Kart tracks or something, like... Something like, um... Uh, Frig, like, what's a, what's a good track that we can have? What's a good, what's a good track? Um... Well, instantly what's come to my mind here is the figure eight court from... The figure eight track from, uh, Mario Kart DS, but really... It's, it's too bland for Mario Kart. It's too bland for, like, a... Attraction. I'm thinking, and I'm also thinking of like Luigi Circuit, but you know, I, I, I'm not talking like make something because I mean you only have like so much to work with here, especially if it's supposed to be like a realistic like track outside. I'm not expecting them to make like Bowser's Castle or Rainbow Road or something. I'm expecting like one of the main tracks or something like Mario Circuit or Luigi Circuit or maybe um or maybe even Waluigi Stadium. That that's probably that's probably that could be possible. To make Waluigi Stadium, that'd be cool. Actually, that'd be more like a dirt bike track, wouldn't it? Okay, 
Okay, never mind. Well, still, like, I'm expecting- Or maybe even Baby Park! Big Baby Park! Because I know that's like a fan favorite track right there, so I'm thinking that should be- that could be awesome! Maybe you wanna come up here? You gonna jump up here? Okay, that's great. So, um... Yeah, so I'm expecting like a Mario Kart track right here. And then, uh... I'm also expecting there to be- for like the Pokemon attraction here! Like the- there's gonna be like a... Jesus! Don't you dare hit me! No, Amy! Bad! Bad! Damn it! I got I gotta kill first. You can die soon! You can die soon! Hold on. I had to focus a little bit here. There we go. Okay, um... Alright, so for the Pokemon attraction, I'm probably thinking they're gonna have, uh... Kind of like a... Ah, oh, frick, how do I explain it here? I'm, I'm expecting like a bit of like a slower ride. Like, kind of like a tour ride. Like, if you have ever been, if you ever been to Epcot, they have like that whole... You know, world history ride. I'm expecting something like that, except make it like Pokemon related. Like you end up like it starts off like you go to the right here and you go into this little tunnel right here and you have like Professor Oak show up and be like, Hello, my name is Professor Oak and welcome to the world of Pokemon and all that stuff right there, and then eventually like you just take a little tour around. And you end up like going to like a forest, you go into the tall grass a little bit here, and then the Pokemon shows up like an animatronic Pokemon, and then Professor Oak be like, Oh, that that's a zigzag ooh. Zig Zagoon is like, yeah, you know, all that. I'm expecting that for Pokemon, which honestly, it could be pretty interesting right here. Kind of like a whole, kind of like a whole Pokedex ride, sort of. Where you have Professor Oak constantly following you here, talking about all the different Pokemon that you meet. And they can all be like different animatronic stuff right here. And maybe like eventually you'll see like a little uh, battle between two Pokemon as well. And I think like at the end you can end up seeing like a legendary Pokemon like Ho-Oh or uh, the three legendary birds or something. Something like that. I think that should be. I think that would be pretty interesting. And then, uh, and then what I'm thinking right here, the the, the one thing that I'm most excited for when it comes to uh, a Nintendo themed amusement park is the Legend of Zelda. I'm expecting something like the Pokemon ride, except you go through Hyrule. And the main reason I'm excited for this is because in Legend of Zelda, Hyrule's always looked absolutely amazing. And, like, I'm not talking about, like, with, you know, like, all the 8-bit games, like, all the earlier games. I'm talking about, like, the current games, like, Twilight Princess, and The Wind Waker, and Skyward Sword. You know, games like that. Hyrule has always looked amazing. So, I'm thinking here, if we can, if they can make, like, a little ride where you follow Link on, like, his adventure through Hyrule, and you go, like, through Hyrule Fields, you go to Kakariko Village, over to the city, over to, like, the town square... And then you go to like Gerudo Valley and you see a final battle between Link and Ganon. Honestly, that honestly, it was just really it doesn't have to be like a thrill ride or anything. And I mean I'm pretty sure they'll have like thrill rides and stuff, like a Star Fox ride or uh, an F Zero ride that ends up going like friggin' eighty six hundred miles an hour. I don't even know, but like But I'm just thinking the Legend of Zelda ride, I'm just most excited for that. Because I'm pretty sure there's if, like, they have, if Nintendo and Universal has any kind of range, they're gonna make it look absolutely amazing. Absolutely spectacular. Like, just some of the best scenery ever. They gotta put, they got, that's pretty much what they gotta put into the Legend of Zelda ride. They have to make it look amazing. Just like the game. And that's the ride I'm most excited for. And I know it's gonna be something that happens in, like, um, um, something that happens in, like, something like five years or so. But honestly, like, I'm just really excited for it, you know? And then the, and then maybe they can like have other like little um uh, like uh like what am I thinking of right here? Like they can have um little like uh um uh what am I trying to say here? Have, like little sections in the park or the or the place they're doing it. Cause I think I heard but the rumors go around saying that Nintendo's that the Nintendo attraction is gonna replace the like ad Adventure Island thing or something that I believe Marvel used to own. But I think they were gonna. Excuse me, I'm trying to explain something here, Fee. Jeez, no respect. All right. So what I'm thinking here is um. Yeah, the rumors going around saying that uh, so far like Marvel has like this one little island to themselves. And I'm thinking, but the rumors are saying that they're gonna replace that with the Nintendo with the Nintendo attractions. 
Which also, that'd be pretty cool right there. And you, maybe, like, to get there, you can go by boat or something, and you can have, uh... Or maybe by boat, or... Yeah, it'd probably be best if it was by boat. Or what kind of... Oh, uh... Is it like a... Hmm. Oh, is there like a famous boat in any of the Mario... Or any of the Nintendo games? I'm trying to think here. Uh, I can't think of, like, any famous, like, ships. I don't really know, but, um... Yeah, there's just kind of the island right there, and then maybe they can have like little like uh, little areas, you know, sections of the park where like one section could be like about Animal Crossing. So you like go into like this little city here, you go into like little town right there, and you see a bunch of like different shops and stuff, like the Able Sisters. Like the Able Sister shop can be like filled with a bunch of like clothing, Nintendo themed clothing. Like you can get yourself like a Mario T-shirt or whatever, you know, something like that. And uh, like there could be this other section here that's like um. What else can I think of here? Well, I'm, I was thinking Sonic as well, but um, uh, but that's a third-party company, so Nintendo doesn't actually own Sega. Because I think Sega is still a third-party company, if I'm correct. But I'm not entirely sure. So, um, what else was I thinking of here? Where did I even go? I was just here. Should I go back? Uh, what else, what else should I talk about here with this? Uh, oh yeah, they can have like one section that's like Metroid themed here, so it could be like in space or something, kind of like Tomorrowland, except like make it like space themed or something there, and you have like Planet Zebus everywhere, and even if you make like a Metroid ride or something, like um, uh, well instantly all I can think about is like just these slow rides here, I, I need to think like thrill rides, what could they have for thrill rides? Like, well I'm thinking instantly, you know, F-Zero, and like Star Fox. For like thrill rides, yeah. those are good concepts for thrill rides. And then maybe Metroid could be something like, uh, could be something pretty similar to the Buzz Lightyear ride, where you have to like shoot a bunch of targets and stuff, except make it like, you know, all the enemies from Metroid and stuff. And then at the end there, you can fight Mother Brain or something, you know? I mean, that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, honestly, I'm just like really excited right here for this Nintendo attraction at Universal. And honestly, like the ideas can just go. Like, just go flowing everywhere here. I mean, there's so many ideas you can think of for this. I'm just freaking excited for it. Well, we're heading back to the game now. Uh, right now we're talking to Cream. I don't even know what to talk about here. There's Amy. Right now, we're talking about, like, working out or something. Whoever gets 10k- Oh, are we doing a 10k battle? No holding back? Except, except Cream's gonna be fighting here. Okay, so now we get to see what Cream does. Let's see here. Let's see how Cream fights. Wait, we, Amy, I'm trying to see how Cream fights. It's, Amy! You're like double teaming! Why are you double teaming the robot here? Alright, let's just take a quick look here. Look at this. Look at that. Look at Cream kicking ass. Okay, I gotta get back into this here before I end up. Or else I'm gonna end up losing here. Except they both instantly go for you, by the way. So this is more like a two-on-one. You see, you see right there. You might as well just make Amy and Creep's text red, because this is exactly what it is. You're like, hey, let me just run around for a moment here. Well, actually, Amy's healing, I think. But see, look at this. Look at this. They're both gonna go out right after me. I can't even heal. I don't even have time to heal. I don't even have time to heal. Actually, Cream is healing a little bit over there, but whatever. We'll, we'll get, I'll get way more into how Cream fights in, in when we get to Cream's story, because, I mean, Cream is so good. Honestly, Cream... I'm just gonna say Cream is honestly my favorite fighter in this game. You probably don't expect from Cream. Alright, watch him go right towards me. You see, look at that. Cream's going right towards me, even though Amy was much weaker than me. And this is a KO battle, so it's not like I have more lives than them. And even still, I wouldn't have more lives than them. Amy, yeah, Amy is over there healing. And sort of laying down a present there. No, 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 no. Hey, get away from me, get away from me. Yeah, there you go. Blow up cream. And then, and then destroy me afterwards. Jeez. Jeez. I mean, this is just always stupid right here. If there's more than one... If it's like... First of all, if you don't have a partner, then you can't... If, if it's, like, everything is treated as two-on-one. Everything is treated as you against everyone else. Fatal 4-Way, you against everyone. 
triple threat, you against everyone. Two on one, it's you against everyone. Three on one, which I still not getting over that bullshit that we had to do in Rouge's story. You, you against everyone. One on one, you against everyone. Two on one, you against everyone. Two on two, you against everyone. It's ridiculous. That's the one problem I have in this game. There we go. Okay. And yet somehow I'm winning. Oh, I got a bow! How do I do that? I think that deserves an air horn. That deserves an air horn. Jackbox, give me an air horn. That is a great air horn. Thank you very much. Great. Hi, Amy. Oh, now Amy's winning crap. Emerald, could you please turn around? Jeez! And then there's this whole bounce off against the wall thing here that instantly kills you. And then they always know how to bounce off the goddamn walls. Okay, do you mind? Do you people mind? Great. Okay, come on. We gotta get we gotta get Amy out of here. Amy can't get another kill. I swear to God, Amy, you screw over it. Yes, jeez, that was way too close. You know what, guys? We're at the end of the video here, but you know what? Uh, for all zero of you watching, post down in the comments. What do you guys think of the new? Uh, what are you guys' opinions on the new Nintendo attraction? Are you excited for it? What are you expecting? What kind of rides do you think they'll have? What kind of rides do you think they should have? You know, all sorts of stuff like that. Just like post it down in the comments here, because I wanna, I wanna know what you guys think. I wanna know what you guys think. All right? Even though I, I already know this, like none of you watching right now, because I mean, I'm already 100. No one knows me. But just, just put down in the comments, what do you guys think about this? I'll see you guys in the next episode.